నమస్తే పునరపి స్వాగతం వెల్కమ్ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఇన్ ద లెక్చర్ నంబర్ ఫోర్ వి లుక్డ్ అట్ ద డిక్లెన్షన్స్ ఆర్ ద విభక్తి ఆఫ్ ద స్త్రీ లింగ ఆర్ ఫెమినిన్ వర్డ్స్ ఎండింగ్ విత్ ఆ అండ్ ఈ ఇన్ టుడేస్ లెక్చర్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డూ అ రివిజన్ అండ్ ప్రాక్టీస్ ఆఫ్ ద విభక్తి ఆర్ ద డిక్లెన్షన్ ఫార్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ ద న్యూటర్ వర్డ్స్ అండ్ దే ఫోర్ దట్స్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఏరియా ఆఫ్ అవర్ ఫోకస్ వేర్ వీ విల్ లుక్ అట్ దీస్ వర్డ్స్ ఎండింగ్ విత్ అ neuter words ending with a and in the singular or ekavachanam we will do the revision of simple uh, dhatu rupa or the verb conjugations that you have we have been looking at in our previous lessons as well and then we will do a building of vocabulary so we have already been looking at the masculine words and based on your previous knowledge of grammar we know that the masculine and the neuter words decline in the same way except for the first and the second cases so can we try to see if you can remember a little of it yourself and then we'll go on to the lesson so once we'll just revise the masculine words so janakaha janakam janakena janakaya janakat janakasya janake hey janaka for the masculine words now the neuter word let's take the word mitram okay so mitra being the root form and mitram being in the nominative so let's see if we can do it together mitram mitram mitrena mitraya mitrat mitrasya mitre he mitra although the nominative is mitram it becomes he mitra so without any uh, delay let's look at the slide with all the different forms related to the neuter ending with a so we have the question kim here and the question kim remains kim in the neuter and therefore you have the first one which is kim kim pashyati so kim asti and kim pashyati the same question kena gachhati kasmai dadati kasmat swikaroti kasya pustakam kasmin asti so kim kim kena kasmai kasmat kasya kasmin looking at the uh, pronoun tat or etat so the root form being tad but in the nominative it becomes tat so tat tat so the first two are the same for the neuter tat tat tena just like the masculine forms okay so tena tasmai tasmat tasya tasmin uttamam let's look at the form of mitra now so mitram mitram mitrena mitraya mitrat mitrasya mitre we have the vocative hey mitra astu is that clear i'll do a conversation with piyush and then we will try to do an exercise there hari om piyusha namaste arye bhavata haste kim asti mama haste pustakam asti kasya pustakam asti sanskritasya pustakam asti bhavan tat pustakam kutaha athava kasmat anitavan aham etat pustakam mama grihat athava grihatah anitavan bhavan tat katham anitavan aham etat pustakam etena yanena anitavan astu bhavan kimartham anitavan etat etat aham jnanaya anitavan evam va bhavan tat pustakam kasmai chit dasyati kim am aham tasmai mitraya dasyami yatah purvam sa uktavan mayam yadi kadapi aham uttamam pustakam prapnomi tarhi tasmai dasyami astu sah anugrihitah bhavishyati am tarhi sah anugrihitah bhavishyati sadhu sadhu tasya mitrasya griham कुत्र अस्ति तस्य गृहम कामरपुकुर नगरे अस्ति अस्तु इतोपि विलम्बः मास्तु इदानीं शीघ्रं गच्छतु श्वः पुनर्मिलामः 
अस्तु धन्यवाद सो वी जस्ट हैड अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विथ आई जस्ट हैड अ कॉन्वर्सेशन विथ पीयूष एंड लेट्स ट्राई एंड एनालाइज दैट कॉन्वर्सेशन एंड बाय नाउ यू आर ऑलरेडी फेमिलियर विथ द डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स एंड द डिफरेंट डिक्लेंशंस ऑफ द मैस्क्यूलिन फेमिनिन एंड नाउ द न्यूटर वर्ड्स एंड वी सी वी ऑलरेडी नो दैट द न्यूटर Uh, declines in the similar way as the masculine words did so let me see if you can join me in this exercise to try and fill in the blanks and by putting in the different vibhaktis in the right places so let's start haryom piyusha so sub so which case is it it is the eighth or the vocative and what will come after the piyusha nothing bhavatah has uttamam haste ha huh? and there kim asti answer namaste ar ye uttamam so namaste ar ye i'll do that clearly for you mamma haste pusta asti so pusta kam asti why pustakam because it is in the neuter word next kasya pustakam asti sanskrita sya uttamam so sanskrita sya sanskrita sya pustakam asti अस्तु नेक्स्ट भवान तत् पुस्त कम एंड हियर वी हैव टू पुट अ डॉट हियर हियर वी डेंट पुट अ डॉट बिकॉज इट वॉज फॉलोड बाय अ वावल दैट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ एन बट हियर बिकॉज इट इज फॉलोड बाय कॉन्सनेंट इट हैज टू बी प्रिसीडेड बाय अ डॉट द नेजल इज प्रिसीडेड इज रिटर्न एज अ डॉट देर सो पुस्तकम कुतः और कस्मात आनीत सो कहा अनित भवान आनित वान तमाम सो वान सो हाउ डू यू रेकग्नाइज इट भवान आनित वान और राइट द व इज द आनित वान उत्तम अहम सो अहम ए तत् पुस्तकम from the house so grihat grihat anita van what do we recognize there that the question is bhavan anita van and the answer is aham anita van because this is a simplified equivalent of the past tense and next bhavan tat katham anita van answer aham by this car so etena etena vahanena anitavan uttamam brought it by this car and which uh, we'll do that afterwards next bhavan kimartham anitavan why did you bring it aham answer to kimartham is always a fourth case so aham jnanaya jnanaya ha huh? so jnanaya anitavan and then finally bhavan tat pustakam kasmaichit dasya ti uttamam dasya ti kim and so let me just as before we go on to the answer let me just uh, connect this to you uh, uh, find out which case it is so bhavatah has te seventh uttamam kim asti namaste ar ye mama has te seventh pustakam asti so what is pustakam so it will be the first kasya pustakam sanskritasya pustakam bhavan tat pustakam kutah anitavan it is the object there kasmat anitavan aham etat pustakam so this is again the second case 
गृहात् आनीतवान् भवान् तत् कथम् आनीतवान् अहम् एतेन वाहने न द थर्ड भवान् किमार्थम् आनीतवान् अहम् जानाय एंड फाइनली भवान् तत् पुस्तकम् कस्मैच दास्यतिकेम एंड द आंसर टू दैट इज आम to that friend, to that, so even the to that will also get the vibhakti which is the dative tasmai mitraya dasyami. So, tasmai mitraya dasyami. Let me just make that clearer for you. Okay, Tasmai Mitraya is the fourth one. Mitraya Dasyami Yataha Saha. Yataha is because Saha Purvam Kadachit sometime again. See Kada time, Kadachit sometime. Mam Saha is the subject here and therefore it will be Ukta Van. Did you get that? I hope you are following along. Uktavan. He Priya Mitra. So you hear the He, you know it's a vocative. What happens in the vocative? You don't add anything there. He Priya Mitra. Yadi Bhavan Kimapi Uttama Pustakam Prapnoti. Prapnoti to get. And therefore this will be in the you said it, it will be in the accusative kimapi uttamam because per follows. So, it will be ma with a dot. Uttamam pustakam again because there is a per that is there, you will get a dot there. Kimapi uttamam, so it will be in the second. Pustakam prapnoti tarhi kripaya mahyam to me dadatu. So, mahyam is the fourth, I will just indicate that to you here. Next, Anugrihitaha Bhavishyami Uttavam because he is saying I will be grateful. So, Anugrihitaha Bhavishyami Iti. Okay. Now, next, Sadhu Sadhu Tasya. So, of that. So, you will also have to put that of that to the noun. So, Tasya Mitrasya Griham. Kutra asti. So, moment kutra you know either uh, destination or location. If it is location, it will be in the seventh case or locative. So, tasya mitrasya griham kutra asti tasya mitrasya griham kamara pukura naga re asti. So, that is the seventh case there. And the same for the transliteration, seventh. And then the final thing. Astu, itopi, even more vilambaha delay, mastu, idanim, now, shigram gachatu, go fast, shwaha punar milamaha, we will meet again, dhanyavadaha, shubham astu, arye, okay, shubham astu, arye. So, let's do some abhyasa or practice for the neuter words in the different cases. So, the first one, kim kim karoti. Alright, so you have kim, kim, karoti, but they are not identical kims. One is a subject and the other is an object here. And because in the neuter both are the same, you have to pay attention as to which kim you are answering and why. So, kim, kim, karoti, so tat vimanam. Vimanam kim karoti? Shigram gachati. So, vahana in the root form will become vahanam and we will use the second one here which is Mandam, so vahanam mandam chalati. Mitra, mitram sarvada sahayam. So sahayam means help. Help. Sarvada sahayam karoti. So kim mitram sarvada sahayam karoti? Etat mitram sarvada sahayam karoti. Nakshatram. So, what does a nakshatra do? Nakshatra, uh, nakshatra is this, uh, it can either be a word for star or a conglomeration of stars. So, nakshatram kim karoti? Nakshatram nishchita margena gachati. Nishchita is definite. So, these are all fixed 
bodies. Okay, so nishchita margena gachati. Let's apply it in different contexts with asti because the moment you say kim uh, jivane kim asti, so although it's the second word here, because it is associated with the verb, it remains the subject. So jivane kim asti sukha. So jivane etat sukham asti. So Sanskritam pathati. Jeevane etat sukham bahu asti. Astu. Now, dukham. Tat dukham asti. Karma phala. Tat karma phalam asti. Uttamam. Karya. Tat karyam asti. Or etat karyam asti. And if I asked you, kutra asti? Jeevane asti. Laksha? Laksham asti. Laksha being a goal or a uh, direction uh, and aim. Marana, maranam asti. Jivane ki masti. Jivane tat maranam asti. That death is assured. Also, there are many questions philosophically around that. In fact, this whole uh, list here can evoke a lot of discussions. But we'll keep it for another time. And here, I suggest that you focus on the learning of the forms. Okay, let's move on to the second case. And what do we see in the second case? That it is the identical form. So, kutra gachati will become tat nagara nagaram gachati. Vana, vana gachati tat vanam gachati. Udyana tat udyanam gachati. Griha tat griham gachati. Mandira tat mandiram gachati. Uh, Lokayana sthana tat Lokayana sthanam gachati. So, lokayana sthana, lokayana bus, sthana place. Okay. Moving on. Kim anayati. So, first was the destination which takes the accusative, but we also have it for uh, what object you bring. Kim anayati. So, varshatram. So, varsha, rain, thra, that which protects or raincoat. We will do it with etat. So, etat varshatram anayati. Chhatra, umbrella, etat. Chhatram anayati. Sviya vahana. One's own car. So, sviya vahanam anayati. Etat sviya vahanam anayati. Yutaka shirt. So, kim anayati? Etat yutakam anayati. Payohima ice cream. So, kim anayati? Etat payohimam anayati. Takra. Takra is the buttermilk or curd which has been beaten up with water. Etat takram anayati. Uttamam. And what I'd like you to do here is to also play around with these formations we have using the different conjugations. And one that really helps is to use it with ami. So aham. Aham nagaram gachami. You can really redo this, and this uh, frame here with a lot of practice using aham especially. Moving on to the next one which is katham uh, the general one and kena more specifically uh, with the neuter word and what do you recognize here? Yes, that the third, uh, the instrumental case for the neuter for the word ending with a is identical to the word ending with a in the masculine. So there kaha becomes kena, here kim also becomes kena. So that really simplifies uh, that's like one third of your list of things to memorize has been reduced by giving these two more or less identical forms. All right. And of course, it's context specific and word specific. So you can still recognize it's uh, the meaning of the word precisely. So, kena gamishyati astu. And here we have tena mitrena. I have written gachati here, which is will go which is the present tense but which can also be used in the future tense but I'll just give it there for you so that you can also use the future because we are also trying to practice the different uh, tenses so gamishyati you see I tend to do the line as I go along because we've been doing writing as well but for you I would suggest that you write the whole word preferably using a ruled notebook and at the end you put the line across it so gamishyati Gamishyati and that with the plural becomes Gamishyanti etc. So, Gacha there gets replaced with Mishya. Alright. So, uh, Kena uh, Gamishyati, let us do it with Gamishyati there. Tena Vahanena Gamishyati. Vimana Tena Vimanena 
gamishyati uh, shala yanam shala is also school so yanam uh, car or bus so school bus tena shala yanena gamishyati irya chakra that's a very, uh, vehicle that goes fast a bike that goes fast so irya chakra becomes irya chakrena kena etena irya chakrena gamishyati vilasa yana luxury bus vilasa vilasa yana will become etena vilasa yanena gamishyati uttamam so uh, quick uh, uh, we'll move on to the next one here and in the next one we have the fourth case or the dative so the generic question being kimartham yes and now you can preempt it as well so kasmai dasyati to whom will you give and here we have tasmai mitraya dasyati chitra tasmai chitraya dasyati so uh, there's an auction and you're buying something so uh, a beautiful picture so tasmai chitraya dhanam dasyati or tasmai chitraya prashansam dasyati you praise the picture uh, you praise for that yeah, you give praise to that picture you can say it like that now chalana chitra tasmai chalana chitraya dhanam dasyati for example griha this house for this house will be etasya etasmai grihaya dasyati uh, pushpa will be etasmai pushpaya dasyati mastaka etasmai mastakaya uh, dasyati all right so we have it there now just one from the third and one from the fourth to see if you have grasped it well so how would you say i will go with this plane i will go with this plane uh, to uh, to delhi so aham etena vimanena delhim Gachami or Gamishyami. Uttamam. Next one. I will give uh, flowers uh, to my friend. I will give so. Aham Dasyami. Flowers. Pushpani as the object stays the same. Or flower. Pushpam. To my friend. Mitraya. Mama Mitraya. Dasyami. Aham Pushpam. Mama Mitraya. Dasyami. Uttamam to this friend, etasmai mitraya dasyami. Uttamam. Let's move on. So we'll see the fifth case or the ablative, and what happens here? Kutaha or kasmat from where? Just like the masculine. So kasmat agatavan nagaram, nagarat agatavan. Kasmat nagarat, tasmat nagarat agatavan. Mandiram, tasmat mandirat. Agatavan or Agatavati depending on the gender. Now, uh, Sviya Vahanam. Etasmat Sviya Vahanat Agatavan. Uh, then Udhyana. Etasmat Udhyanat Agatavan or Agatavati. Uttamam. Let's do the next one which is the sixth case or the genitive here. And what do we see here? That it is Kasya Asti. And here I have tried to give you a few other alternatives of using this form here. So, kasya nama asti, tasya mitrasya nama uh, piyusha asti, for example. Or tasya mitrasya nama vinayaha asti, uttamam. Uh, purana, so tasya puranasya nama bhagavatam asti. Uttamam. Kavyam. So what happens to Kavyam? Kavya becomes Kavyam. Tasya Kavyasya Nama Raghuvansha Asti. Raghuvansham Asti. Padyam. So Kasya Padyam Asti. Tasya uh, or Etasya uh, Padyasya Nama uh, Meghadutam Asti. Or we can also use it for this one, smaranam. Kasya smaranam asti, etasya kavyasya smaranam asti. Kasya smaranam asti, padyam, which also means uh, kavyam or poetry. So, etasya padyasya smaranam asti. Uttamam. And the last one, kamala, becomes kamalasya. So, uh, 
varna sundara beautiful color so although what it is defining has uh, color is the word kamalam is a neuter but the word varna is in masculine and therefore the adjective will go with that and it will be sundara varna okay so let's do that tasya or etasya kamalasya varna sundara asti uttamam ha huh? so i hope you have a, a grasp of that and that you are going to practice it by yourself as well so let's move on to the final one which is the seventh case and what do we see here kutra becomes kasmin so kasmin uh, uh, kasmin bhavishyati or jalam bhavishyati tasmin patre bhavishyati kim bhavishyati whole list of things you can add the jalam bhavishyati kshiram bhavishyati whatever bhojanam bhavishyati etc etc now next uh, kasmin bhavishyati patre bhavishyati kavyam kasmin bhavishyati tasmin patre bhavishyati uttamam vastram tasmin vastre bhavishyati urukam pant so uh, kara vastram kara vastram is the hanky kara vastram kutra bhavishyati or kasmin bhavishyati uh, tasmin uruke bhavishyati uttamam natyam natyam drama so kasmin natye bhavishyati so kasmin bhavishyati etasmin so let's do it close etasmin natye bhavishyati kshetram field ha huh? so uh, annam ha huh? annam or uh, yeah annam kutra bhavishyati tasmin kshetre bhavishyati uttamam so if i'd like to just we'll just do one exercise here where i will say um in that house uh there is a dog let's say so the word for dog is kukuraha or let me make it simpler for you in that house there is a garden so what's the word for garden udyanam kutra asti grihe asti which house that house tasmin grihe asti tasmin grihe kim asti tasmin grihe उद्यानम अस्ति उत्तमम सो लेट्स मूव ऑन प्रैक्टिस अभ्यासम कुर्वन्तु निश्चयेन अभ्यासम कुर्वन्तु एंड द फाइनल केस दैट वी हैव व्हिच इज द वोकेटिव सो व्हाट हैपेंस हियर मित्रम इन द फर्स्ट केस बिकम्स हे मित्र लाइक वी हैव सीन विद जनकः आल्सो सो जनकः बिकेम हे जनक सो मित्रम इन द फर्स्ट केस हियर विल बिकम हे मित्र हे मित्र किम वदति kalatra wife so he kalatra when did you come kada agatavati uttamam <laughs> and then the fun, last one is uh, a quote a uh, call out of uh, a little desperation so it's a call to one's luck which is bhagya so he bhagyam mama sahayam karotu so oh luck please help me i will just put the meaning of these words here so bhagya is luck and kalatra is wife all right so you have those meanings there and you can uh, use them uh, mix and match also to some extent all right so let's do a quick recap of all of that so the first one is kim kim the same thing kim kim and then like the masculine forms kena kasmai kasmat kasya kasmin so this should really become very routine for you if you get it in your if you rem- memorize it once it will really simplify uh, your learning the next one is tat or etat so we'll do it with the tat so tat tat tena tasmai tasmat tasya tasmin and you need to observe and see what is similar what is different what stays what changes and becomes completely different etc and the final one for the mitra mitra मित्रम मित्रेन मित्राय मित्रात मित्रस्य मित्रे हे मित्र नाउ हैविंग सेड दैट लेट्स लुक एट अ सुभाषित हियर सो द सुभाषित इज पुण्यस्य फलम इच्छन्ति पुण्यम नेच्छन्ति मानवाः फलम पापस्य नेच्छन्ति पापम कुर्वन्ति यत्नतः ओके सो पुण्यस्य of punya punya is the good deeds okay so punya se phalam kim ichanti phalam 
ichanti they want punyam na ichanti okay so there there is already a sandhi which we will be learning but na ichanti becomes ne chanti you remember a and e it becomes an a so ne chanti manavaha so who doesn't want the human beings they want the fruits of good deeds but they don't want to do good deeds next phalam papasya ne chanti so papa is the bad deeds and the phalam is the fruits of the bad deeds na ichanti they don't want that but papam kurvanti yathnataha yathnataha with with a lot of effort or with uh, very consistently uh, papam kurvanti they will do act in wrong ways but they don't want the results so this is i would just like to add here that uh, this is something that is important for this age especially where we deal a lot with the virtual world and in the virtual world there seems to be a disconnect between the action done and the fruits of the action that follow so we believe that we can do things but we will not necessarily have to face immediate consequences of that so i can if one is playing video games you can kill somebody the next minute the person pops up again this kind of a continuous uh, engagement with games of that kind somewhere tend to uh, weaken this connection of the reality that actions have consequences so this is an excellent shloka that says that if you want a certain action or a certain fruit you have to act in accordance with that you can't act in a particular way and expect a different fruit of a different kind all right so it says how strange that people want to enjoy the fruit of meritorious deeds but do not like to perform them uh, they do not want to bear the fruits of sin yet they resort to evil action assiduously very strange so let's uh, try to sing that you repeat after me punya sya phala me chanti punyam ne chanti manavaha phalam papasya ne chanti papam kurvanti yatnataha uttamam so you as you are saying it i would again invite you to try to look at the combination of letters and more and more practice writing them sounding them learning them by heart because these are uh, very precious things that uh, stay in our lives and serve as guidelines in many cases so here there is a, i'd like to introduce you to another kind of uh, 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 another kind of literature that exists in sanskrit which is just about these good sayings so like we had subhashita with the verses we also have these su uktayaha become su uktayaha which uktayaha means that which is said and su means good so the good sayings and uh, here we have vachane ka daridrata so vachane means in one speech vachanam ka daridrata what is the poverty in that so why be miserly in the use of one's praise especially in good things that if you have to say about somebody then or something then why be miserly a uh, praise freely criticize carefully but praise freely so appreciate things that need to be appreciated in life and be grateful for them next shathe shathyam samacharet shatham means crooked action so shathyam is that kind of an action samacharet so if there is a crook you can only handle a crook with crookedness says this particular saying astu tari yah shatha asti tena sah vyavahare shatham eva acharaniyam bhavati tari sah avagachhati varataram next ajirne bhojanam visham so ajirnam is indigestion bhojanam is food visham is poisonous so if your food is not digested undigested food it turns to poison so this is a very medical reality medical uh, truth of the body so if something so similarly with ideas if you're telling someone and that person has not understood assimilated it and one keeps telling them that can lead to a kind of a almost indigestion for that individual also so always this invitation to watch and act with measure tarhi yasya bhojanam jirnam na bhavati tasmay adhikam yada dadmah 
तदा तस्य तदेव भोजनं विषमयं भवति अतः अस्माकं ज्ञानदानकाले अपि किमपि यदा कुर्मः तत्र यदि अधिकं क्रियते तदा तत् कष्टकरं भवितुं शक्नोति अस्तु द नेक्स्ट वन वी हेव इज शुभस्य शीघ्रम सो शुभम बिकम्स शुभस्य शीघ्रम सो यू मस्ट हेसन टू स्टार्ट गुड वर्क एंड दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड दिस इज एन ऑफ्ट कोटेड एक्सप्रेशन दैट सेज दैट इफ यू हैव समथिंग गुड इन माइट डोंट प्रोक्रेस्टिनेट एंड प्रोलॉन्ग दैट मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट वन नानृता पातकम परम अनृतम comes from the root word which is ritam which means the right rit right in english has the same sense in sanskrit which is the right so anritam the non right and here you have a sandhi which is na anritam so nanritam and that you put it into the fifth case will become nanritat so they say that what what about the anritam there is nothing worse there is no worth worse downfall than the moving away from that which is right and we really see that in all systems everywhere that if there is a right thing to do and people are deviating from that then it that it takes up a lot of extra energy to just bring things back in order so um, this is one thing that is here in this quote it says nanritat patakam param there is no greater or there is no worse downfall than the non right or falsehood so uh, these are uh, grammatical applications that we have seen here but i think more than grammatical there is a lot of deep meaning embedded in each of these uh, sukta yaha that you need to ponder upon way beyond the grammar that we are learning here so let's go on to the next one which is a quotation by dr manmohan singh and uh, dr manmohan singh he says that uh, the message of the ancient sages of india who gave us the concept of vasudhaiva kutumbakam uh, the world as one family continues to be of great significance to the world even today some references that we have here and shubhamastu i would just like to say that that uh, quote that we hear so often vasudhaiv kutumbakam is actually part of a larger verse which says um ayam nijah paroveti ganana laghu chetasam udar charita nam tu vasudhaiv kutumbakam vasudha eva kutumbakam so this particular verse says this ayam nijah this is mine paroveti this is yours this constant calculation of what is mine what is yours etc ayam nijah paroveti ganana this kind of calculation laghu chetasam the small minded are always engaged in this petty calculations about everything udar charita nam to the one with a generous heart vasudhaiva kutumbakam so the whole earth is a family and this spirit has uh, deeply inspired the indian psyche at least in ancient times in the modern times we are being influenced by different trends of thinking and behaving more of individualism etc but what is very heartening is that as one travels the world one does find a family no matter where one goes if one knows how to open one's heart if one knows how to open one's heart and receive whatever is given in a generous spirit so with these words dhanyavadah abhyasam kurvantu shigram पुनर्मिला